है हेलो स्टूडेंट या इन द लास्ट क्लास वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द सेपरेशन ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस राइट इन द लास्ट क्लास वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द सेपरेशन ऑफ द सब्सटेंसेस इन सेपरेशन ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस वी डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ सेपरेशन after that we discussed about what are the methods we are used for separation and we also study some of the important another process of the separation now in this class we are going to study further more methods of separation now we are going to discuss with the further more methods of separations in methods of separations we are now going to study about the method name called evaporation okay now in the methods of separation now we are going to discuss about the next method of separation that is evaporation before going to study with the definition of the evaporation first we are going to see one of the activity to explain the definition of evaporation before going to directly study with the definition of evaporation before that we are going to discuss with one activity what is that activity what we are going to discuss for this activity first what are the thing you want means for conducting this activity we want burner i'm explaining the diagram first first we want the burner stand mesh beaker and salt water what are the thing we want what are the operator setup we want to do to conduct this activity to conduct this activity we want stand burner mesh beaker and salt water these are the main important thing our main important operator setup we want understood now what we are going to do in this activity what we are going to do in this activity means first we want to take some of the water okay consider that in the beaker you are going to take half volume of the water if the beaker is 100 ml means you want to take 50 ml of water consider that if the beaker is 100 ml means you want to take 50 ml of water if 50 ml of beaker you are taking means you want to take 25 ml of water after that for that volume consider that if you are taking 25 ml of water or you are going to taking 50 ml of water that you are wish okay for that you are going to add one spoon of salt one full tablespoon of the salt why why we are going to add one tablespoon of salt to prepare the salt solution to prepare the salt solution we are going to add salt to the water then what is this solution why we are going to discuss with this the salt solution this this solution means the combination of the solute and solvent if both solute and solvent is combined together to form the solution what is solution then the combination of the solute and solvent we call it as a solution what is this solute what is this solvent if you see the water okay the liquid thing that present in the solution we call it as a solvent what is solvent the liquid that present in the solution we call it as an solvent 
then what is this solute the solid particles which is dissolved in the solvent that we call it as an solute it is solute the solid particles that is dissolved in the solvent we called as an solute now understood the concept of solute solvent and solution okay now we are going to prepare the salt solution what we are going to do we are going to prepare the salt solution after preparing the salt solution now we are going to heat this one that means we are going to heat or we are going to boil the water up to where we are going to boil the water all the get all the water get vaporized how much we are going to heat the water we are going to heat the water up to that all the water all the liquid it converts into its vapor state after eating all the liquids again you get the crystals of the salt what you add in that solution what we are going to do first we are going to boil that water again that all the water is converted into the vapor after the conversion of all the vapor all the water into the vapor again you get your salt this conversion or this conversion of from the liquid state to its vapor state that method or that process we call it as an evaporation what is evaporation what is the definition of evaporation the process of conversion of water into its vapor the process of conversion of water into its vapor one more time i am telling the process of conversion of water into its vapor we call it as an evaporation what is evaporation the process of conversion of water into its vapor we call it as an evaporation after discussing with this evaporation now we are going to discuss with the one another example for the evaporation i know so many of you are went for to see the oceans right is it right so many of you are see the beaches right how is that water is that very sweet e is that very sweet water is that no it is very salty right the water that present in the ocean it is very salty nature what it indicates that it indicates that the ocean water consists of lot amount of the salt which is the salt that present more in the ocean water the salt that present more in the ocean water is your common salt that what you are going to use in your homes what is that common salt the common salt name is sodium chloride what is the name of the common salt that you used in your home the name of the common salt what you are going to use in your homes is sodium chloride therefore in the ocean water which is the more thing that present in the ocean water the salt that is sodium chloride is more present did you know that you bring salt from the shop right stationery shop you are going to bring the salt from the stationery shop did you imagine that where that exactly the salt are manufactured by which process hmm did you know that from the which process the salts are get manufactured yes by the evaporation process only what they are going to do what they are going to do means they collect lot of consider that some amount of water the ocean water in the acres of land they are going to make small small boxes 
in that boxes they are going to put this ocean water and leave that land and leave that land for so many, so many days consider 4 to 5 days are like that okay they are going to leave that land after that what happens due to the sunlight all the water that present in that area start getting evaporation that means it converts from its liquid state to the vapor state so what it going to do it converts the water state of that ocean water to the vapor state after that you get your sodium chloride salt what that sodium chloride salt that present in that land they are going to do recrystallization also what is that recrystallization they are going to again add some pure water that is drinkable water they are going to add some drinkable water to that again they are going to heat it after heating what happens they get the pure crystals of your sodium chloride salt that what is the salt uh, iodine ashur ashurvada you get so many types different different types of the salt packets right that all the type of the salt packets are obtained from this process only what is the method that involved in the preparation of the common salt the method used for the preparation of the common salt is evaporation i think now you understand properly what is evaporation right after discussing with the evaporation the next another one process is there that is dead opposite of this of evaporation that is condensation the exact dead opposite of the evaporation we called as an condensation then what is condensation what is the definition of condensation the process of conversion of water vapors into its liquid in this process we are going to condense that means we are going to use some amount of the pressure okay we are going to use some amount of the pressure to this to convert the gaseous state are to convert that vapor stated molecules into the liquid state this process we call it as an condensation okay what is condensation the process of conversion of water vapor into its liquid maybe into its liquid or into its solid that we call it as an condensation the process of conversion of the water vapors to its liquid state that we call it as an condensation example if you see just take steam of water okay you are going to take steam of water in the vessel leave that vessel for some time what happens that vapor that steam of water become droplet and again it is stored in the vessel this is the best example for the condensation process what is condensation the process of conversion of water vapor into its liquid that we called as an condensation then what is evaporation the process of conversion of vapor water into its vapor we called as an evaporation understood both the definitions one is evaporation and another one is the condensation after discussing with this evaporation and condensation now the term to discuss about the some other two important concept of this chapter that is saturated solution and the next one is the unsaturated solution these are the two important lost concept of this chapter what are the two important concept two important definition one is saturated solution and another one is the unsaturated solution first we discuss about the saturated solution what is this saturation what is this saturated glass solution if you see for every object for either consider for the human beings or consider for any of the substance that they have their exact saturation level okay they have that 
exact saturation level after exist after getting that saturation level no more energy is required no more energy is get consumed take one example i am just taking the example for the saturation okay okay first take one glass of water okay i am just taking the one glass of water for that glass of water i am going to add the salt okay salt or sugar anything you can take okay for that i am going to add sugar 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 one tablespoon of sugar first i add stir it again i am taking the another spoon of the sugar again add stir continuously i am doing four to five times after that what happen after certain time the sugar what i again put to that solution it is not dissolved in the water why it is not dissolved in the water the saturation level of the water come now the saturated means saturated solution means the solution in which the exact amount okay the exact amount of the solute is dissolved in the solvent after that particular amount of the solvent solute again we can't add that any amount of the solute to the solvent that we call it as an saturated solution what is saturated solution the solution in which the particular amount of the solute is added to the solvent after that after that particular amount if you are going to add the solute to the solvent the solute is not dissolved in the solvent example when you are going to add the sugar to the water some certain level the sugar is dissolved in the water but after some time what happens the sugar is not dissolved in that water that level we call it as an saturated level or that solution we call it as an saturated solution understood therefore what is this unsaturated solution then the unsaturated solution is after you will get that saturated level right after that saturated level when you are going to heat that when you are going to heat the solution when it exists the saturation level again if you add the sugar to that solution again it start dissolving that level when we are going to heat that water again it goes on dissolving the solute that solute or that solution we call it as an unsaturated solution and that level is known as the unsaturation this is the concept that what we are going to study in this concept saturated solution as well as the unsaturated solution okay this all are the concept that what is present in this chapter that is separation of substances okay one time again we discuss what are the things we discuss it first we are going to discuss with the definition of separation after that we are discussing with so many methods of separation after we discuss with evaporation condensation saturation and unsaturation this is all about this chapter i hope you understand all the concept in the chapter in the next class we are going to discuss with the one more chapter with more information up to that bye everyone